After men had spread their presence all over the world, God gave special attention to one of them. His name was Abraham. God made several promises to this man and blessed him. Abraham lived peacefully among his peers, but God had greater plans for him. By God's design, Abraham left the village where he lived and departed along with his wife, nephew, and some relatives and servants. Abraham left in order to find Canaan, the promised land. When he reached Canaan, God told him that he would have to give this land to his descendants, and Abraham built an altar in honor of God. But the region was devastated by the famine, something that forced Abraham and his followers to find refuge in Egypt. Abraham thrived there, and when he left Egypt, he was a wealthy man. He and his nephew Lot had plenty of cattle, and the same land could not sustain both of them, which caused some misunderstandings. Lot decided to part ways with Abraham. The patriarch allowed Lot to choose his route. If Lot opted to head left, his uncle would head right, and if he wanted to head right, Abraham would head left. Lot made the decision to leave and went after the greenish valley of the Jordan River, near the city of Sodom. Sodom's people were perverse and degenerate, and Abraham feared for the safety of his nephew and people. The old patriarch traveled to the opposite direction, and God told him that any piece of land contemplated by eyes now belonged to him, and he promised to grant him a numerous offspring who would inherit God's given lands. Abraham settled himself in Hebron. After some time, a quarrel broke out between kings, and war descended onto the region of the Jordan River Valley. Abraham was informed that both his nephew Lot and his people had been imprisoned. Abraham gathered more than 300 men and set out to rescue his relatives. Using a surprise attack, Abraham's men managed to rescue Lot and his possessions. Due to his courageous deed against Sodom's enemies, the city's ruler offered a great reward to Abraham. But he refused that payment. He was not fond of enriching from the decision of the kind-hearted king of Sodom. He then returned to his land, and his true reward had yet to come.